Turning back to our top story of the day, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is resigning after over 50 government officials quit amid a series of scandals. So here to discuss the U.S. response to this is senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe. Um, Ed, everyone knows the U.S. and England have a special relationship. Uh, looking to England and our top story, Prime Minister Boris Johnson resigning, of course. What has been the response uh, from, from the U.S. to this news? There is Good morning, Anne-Marie. There is no official response yet from the Biden administration to this morning's political developments, but they were asked yesterday about this, and the White House press secretary said they didn't want to engage in domestic political affairs in another country. Mm. Keep this in mind, though. Uh, this president obviously has worked very closely with Boris Johnson. They didn't necessarily have a close uh, personal relationship the way maybe Tony Blair did with Bill Clinton and George W. Bush or that, uh, that Donald Trump certainly did with Theresa May and Boris Johnson to some extent, given that they were like-minded conservatives. But one thing this White House will be concerned about is ensuring, and it looks like this won't be an issue, but ensuring that the United Kingdom remains committed to helping with the war in Ukraine, uh, with sustaining the way that NATO is responding in such a united way to the ongoing conflict. Um, and then, you know, beyond that, uh, the, the, the relationship is so special, so sustained, so deep that you saw even yesterday the head of the FBI and the head of the MI5 give a rare joint appearance and speech about the dangers of Chinese espionage against American and British companies. I mean, this is, this is a relationship in two countries that work quite seamlessly together. So while the president and the, whoever the next prime minister is may want a closer personal relationship, that always is helpful uh, at the leader-to-leader -leader level, uh, there's no reason to believe that there's going to be any real concern going forward so long as, on foreign policy at least, uh, there continues to be uh, agreement on what to do about Ukraine, what to do about Russia. Yeah, Ukraine. Sorry, and China, China, China. That was the other one, of course. Ukraine, Russia, and China. And I was also thinking trade as well, because we know with yeah. uh, the UK getting out of Brexit, they have to renegotiate uh, trade agreements um, with a lot of different countries. Um, hopefully, Ed, we will be able to talk to you a little bit later about all of this. But for now, I got to say thank you. Yes, take care.